Art changes the world one perception at a time. That's the power of art. For me, the mirror is a way to access the world of spirit. It's, the mirror is the way to look past the obvious, look past your prejudice, past your habit into another dimension, the looking glass from Alice in Wonderland. But at the same time today, what the mirror does is it becomes your incarceration. Certainly in the occidental system in Europe or the United States, where vanity plays such an important, vital role, you look in the mirror and you hate what you see. Everything behind the mirror is transforming you into a generic, transforming you into an avatar, in order that we all become the same copy-paste, good consumers. When you look at a good African work of art, a work that's incarnate, the work of art looks right back at you because it's alive. You see it in the way African artists have embodied their identity, their protest, their politics. How do you take these very complex ideas and embody them in works of art so that the work of art is still alive and still looking right back at you? There is the, the desire from Europeans to imagine Africa as the savage continent, the dark continent, this continent of cannibals and noble savages. Today, a lot of people have understood that this is politically not correct and we can't speak about Africa as a savage continent. And then they want to protect Africa and they become patronizing and paternalistic, trying to take care of Africa. Both are dangerous because Africa doesn't, is neither savage nor needs taken care of. The mirror is a way of speaking about worlds, plural, nations, plural, ma making it more complex rather than simplifying. But the function of the mirror is also very important because we made a very radical decision. The decision was we want to exhibit the building. We want to exhibit Victor Horta's architecture. We want to exhibit 1930s Belgium in order to also speak about how is the building built. It didn't build itself. We want to speak about the architecture because the wealth that is coming out of the Congo, com coming out of the colonies, was feeding the, the, the economic life of Belgium, which made Belgium rich enough to afford to build this building. And by putting mirrors on the wall, you might be able to allow yourself to consider how might you today be participating how are we negotiating that space between ethics and aesthetics? When you walk into the museum and instead of seeing a work of art on the wall, you see yourself in the mirror on the wall. Who am I? When I look in the mirror, who do I see? What is my name? It's an interesting question. What is your name? I ask people, what is your name? And they say something. And I say, but that's the name your father or your mother gave you. What is your name? If you could choose, who would you be? My name is Kendall Gears. I'm an artist and I'm currently curating an exhibition for the Bazaar called Incarnations.